everybody knows that successful celebrities like Johnny Depp and Jim Jarmusch and Marilyn Manson. Now they have written commentaries about your new book. Um, Thank you guys. How does hanging out with celebrities help the publicity of your work? Do you think it helps a lot? I, you know, I guess it would. I mean, people like them, you know, and it's kind of like if I was in the bookstore and I, you know, saw a blurb by somebody so, I admire saying, wow, this is a great book, I'm going to read it. You have a lot of it. There's yeah. so many people talking about your book right now. I'm lucky. I can only say that the book just fell into my life. I was never planning on writing this book or but anything. But before you, you wrote Scapfeather, was that finished ever? No. Scapfeather is oh. about halfway done. I'm about halfway through the first draft of Scapfeather, which is basically my epic, surreal, psychedelic memoir. That you know, it's a really long book because I'm going through my whole life experience yeah. and trying to Your encapsulate, family, you know, family and travels and people I've met and experiences and different countries and just psychedelic visions and you know, drugs and sex and rock and roll and everything. And so this is a big long book and it's probably gonna it might take me the rest of my life to finish it. But pretty well along through this book yeah. when things happened in my life that compelled me to write Narcissus. Through you and the Narcissus. Yeah, it was, you know, Narcissus is a fictional book, but it's not mine alone because my girlfriend, who was the inspiration for Narcissa, you know, she just I know. <laughs> came into my life and, and I started writing stories that she would tell me, and some of these stories were true, and some of them were just delirious visions of hers, and then I added my own delirious visions, and it's kind of like between the two of us, yeah. it was like we gave birth to this character called Narcissa, which is entirely a fictional character, but has a lot to do with issues that rage between us in our relationship, which I think, you know, are sort of universal to a lot of yeah, intimate human relationships, even though, you know, this is an extreme sort of extrapolation of, of those issues and those things that, you know, everybody deals with. With this, it's like extreme. It's like sex becomes, you know, hardcore prostitution, you yeah. know. It's like, uh, you know, mind-expanding experience becomes near suicidal drug uh, yeah. overdose everything. I mean, it's just a book of extremes. But when you get right down to it, it's really just dealing with the human condition through this, you know, larger-than-life character called Narcissa, who yeah. basically encapsulates so many human foibles of narcissism and ego illness and uh, arrogance and, and fear and trauma and you know, just the way relationships happen in people's lives, they sort of act as a mirror yeah. for them to look into their own soul. If somebody is so lucky as to get into a really terrible, gut-wrenching, painful, death-defying relationship, it's going to make you look into places where you wouldn't ordinarily want to look at.